Let lambda 1 and lambda 2 be two distinct eigenvalues of 2 cross 2 matrix with complex entries. Then which of the following statement is true? We have to seek true statement. Uh, suppose 1 and minus 1 are eigenvalue of a matrix A. Then eigenvalue of matrix A square will be 1 square comma minus 1 square means 1 comma 1. These two are not distinct eigenvalues. So option A already discard. We know the result if uh, lambda 1 and lambda 2 are eigenvalue of matrix A then lambda 1 raised to the power n and lambda 2 raised to the power n will be eigenvalue of A raised to the power n. So these are these two are eigenvalue and uh, their sum will be trace of A square or A raised to the power n you can understand. So this value should be n. Option B is right. Option B is right. Now determinant of A square equals to determinant of A square equals to lambda 1 lambda 2. Uh, I can verify option 2. Yes, n is given. Determinant of A square equals to lambda 1 lambda 2? No. Because of determinant will be lambda 1 raised to the power n and lambda 2 raised to the power n. This will be the determinant. So option C already discarded. Now there exists uh, lambda belongs to C such that A raised to the power n equals to lambda i. For this uh, we have to choose n is any or for some and uh, A is arbitrary. A is arbitrary. So if I select matrix A equals to identity then A raised to the power n equals to identity and we can write 1 into identity matrix. So it is okay for some n. It is okay for some n but uh, this is particularly true. At this stage not take uh, you cannot uh, choose this option D because this is particularly true. Now you can consider another example 1101. Take a square of it. A square of this one will be 1 and uh, 2 so a square you can write a square not equals to lambda times i so this is not true for this matrix so this is not true in general so correct option for this problem is option b